Shalom, party people, and welcome to the 12th C. It is December 10, 2022, day 70 of 75 hard for me. It was, oh, what temperature was it this morning? I want to say it was like 40, no, it was 37 degrees Fahrenheit this morning when myself and a brother went for about a five and a half mile run in kind of a misty, you know, semi-sprinkling condition. So it was actually quite pleasant. Um, the, um, I think the cloud overcast and everything kept the humidity and the, uh, weather conditions fine. So it actually felt like about the mid to upper forties, even though it was raining. Uh, so no complaints. I uh, did about just under 10 minute miles. Cause we finished right at 50 minutes for the five and a half miles. Um, and it was on a, uh, a course that I haven't run too many times. So that was, you know, fun and just getting all that out. Uh, walking, stretching, let's see, um, did my photo, did my gallon, um, weighed in at 199.6, so at least trending on that side of 200, which is good. Um, I did uh, homemade pancakes, uh, low sugar with, uh, oh, let's see, I did peanut butter with them, and then for lunch I did uh, red beans and rice and then leftover turkey that needed to be eaten. And then um, for dinner tonight, I did uh, deer, eggs, and cheese, and then a bowl of rice Chex Mix, just to mix things up a little bit, just kind of kind of tr clearing out that fridge. Uh, all in all, just trucking along, Bible reading through uh, Revelation 3 to 12, and then continuing in Resistance Operating Concepts. This chapter 2 is pretty long. Uh, went through financing for your resistance movement and then uh, also did leadership and some training through there. Um, as far as financing your resistance goes, I mean, it's it's one of those that, you know, they say love makes the world go round, but it's really money, in all honesty. Um, something that was talked about was you know, whether your resistance movement is going to be financed from other governments, whether it's going to be financed internally, um, whether it's going to be financed from, uh, you know, you doing illegal things, whether it's going to be financed from um, private charities that have one face to the public, but then, you know, they're doing underhanded deals throughout. Um, it, it really just, you know, however, however the money comes, um, it's something that I really think that in the event of being resilient, that you need to have your finances figured out before anything happens. And then, you know, this book's talk talks about it, but it's, it hits it from a million different angles. Um, as far as on the personal side of things, if, if you're going to be resilient through things is that we need to, um, have our hard assets squared away. We need to have our, um, our physical insurance squared away. Um, and not just money insurance, but, you know, our food, water, shelter, fire, clothing, um, hygiene, all those, you know, all those things need to be as squared away as possible and the ability to produce and not just stockpile. Um, so that, that comes into it. And, you know, there's people with the entrepreneurial mindset and having them who can figure out a way to monetize your shenanigans, I, I think is the best way to go about it. As far as uh, as far as leadership goes, you know, there's the whole: um, are we going to be led from afar? Are we going to be led nearby? Are we going to have some kind of a mixture? Is there going to be um, the uh, the people who are giving us our marching orders from a safe place, or is it all done internally? Um, and on the personal side of things, the resilience that comes um, is: I, I really think we need to be as self-governed as we possibly can. Uh, if we can take care of our, our minutia, then I, I think most people will leave us alone if we are self-sustaining. That's that's where a lot of things comes in. And, you know, I don't have any plans of being a uh, super high-speed tactical operator in the event that stuff goes sideways. But what I do have intentions of is, you know, in the event that uh, we need to... Uh, refresh the tree of liberty or in the event that um, the the government that we have uh, decides that it's not going to be functional anymore. Um, I, I would rather me and the people that I love 
um, be as self-sufficient as possible. So that way um, we'll be left alone. And then um, in the event that we need to reestablish a, a more perfect union, um, that we can start small and start local and build our way up from there. I, I think that is a far better outcome. But, you know, if there's enough people who want those kind of things, then maybe we'll all band together and have, you know, independent colonies and work our way up from there. Um, it just really just depends. Um, and we're all speculation at this point. Um, as far as training goes, it's, it's without said that, you know, everything should be training. And we should always be putting ourselves in situations where we're trying to get better. But we also need to be putting ourselves in situations where as a group, we're trying to get better. Because uh, the way I train and the way you train may be two different things. But if we're working together as a unit, we need to be able to work together. Um, I like the idea of we, we need to prepare uh, to do Tuesday together, not just Doomsday. And that's, that's building a good team. That is having people that you want to do life with right now. Um, that you can put up with their shenanigans now. Uh, and that that is where so much of things come from. So all in all, I, I'm really liking resistance operating concept. It is, uh, you know, it's not a, um, it's not a page turner by any means, but it's something that is a lot of, a lot of strategy uh, that is definitely at the 30,000 foot view. And I do appreciate that for what it is. Uh, let's see, we've got five days left. Uh, I'm probably going to do another distance run tomorrow if I can, and then see about pounding out some, some three milers and, and see where my time is and go from there. Uh, got a couple projects that I'm working on that will be gifts for people in the foreseeable future uh, and more just gifts of appreciation for who they are and what they do. Uh, but been watching a lot of, a lot of videos of people taking you know, inexpensive things and putting some love into them and then coming out with some works of art, I think. But anyway, go do hard things.